There we go. Stryker and Gosney equals tasty business. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Tom Straker, I'm here at Gosney and I'm going to show you how to make salt and pepper hot wings with a maple glaze. First up, we're going to make the glaze because you want to cook that and then just let it chill slightly. I've had this all beautifully weighed out for me, big treat. So we're going maple syrup, it doesn't matter what order you're going in, you're just going to boil the shit out of it basically. This is chicken stock, I made that but you can use any kind of chicken stock, you could use a stock cube if you've got your own chicken stock much better and then apple cider vinegar so you've got sugar you've got vinegar you've got stock so you've got like some meatiness you've got a bit of acid from the vinegar and then you've got the sweets going to come together and be absolutely banging and then the butter when you reduce all this liquid it emulsifies with the butter so it's going to create this sort of like caramel almost and then a couple of pinches of salt because obviously the wings are going to be seasoned as well and then you can go in your favorite hot sauce not too much we're not going for like a really spicy wing we still want to taste the salt and pepper on the wings this is just really to give it a good glaze and we can sort of adjust that at the end depends how spicy you're feeling everything's inside and now all you need to do is put that on the heat so you can bring it up to boil on the fast flame and then you can put it down on, on a lower flame. But we're looking for like a light sort of caramel. We don't want it to be set hard when it's cold because otherwise when you pour it onto the wings, it just will firm up completely. It's thickening up. You can smell it's becoming rich. The sugar's caramelized in there. Once we get that cooled down, that's going to really thicken up. Sugar, the butter and the chicken stock's all going to make that a nice coating consistency. So we'll just take that off now and we can just allow that to cool whilst we prep the, the wings. We want to buy good wings, you know, good from the butcher, happy chickens. You want to get the three joint wing. That's, a, you know, the whole wing. And we're going to take it down into three parts, the, the drum, the flat, and then this part, the tip is just going to go into stocks or sauces or something. Don't throw it in the bin. Roast it up in a pan, pour over some water, vegetables, got a chicken stock. With the wings, just a touch of oil. You can go rapeseed oil, grapeseed oil, veg oil, really doesn't matter. You just want to give them a good toss so that so they're well coated, then we're going to get the seasoning on because the oil will help the seasoning stick to the chicken. So good few pinches of salt. And then we've got some freshly ground black pepper here. And that goes a good couple of pinches of pepper. And you can just get in there with your hand, just smash it all together. I'm going to go in with a touch more pepper. Don't put your chicken hand back in the pepper, by the way. Okay, now to line up the chicken on the tray to go in the rock box. Rock box wants to be on a very low temperature, the lowest flame possible. And trick is now is to line up all the flats together and all the drums together so that it's just an easy turn when you're when you're doing it. I mean it's good for you know just to keep it keep it nice and easy for yourself and leave yourself lots of space when you're doing it. They're all obviously gonna shrink up so you can get a few more in there than you think. You wash your hands after handling the chicken, just we don't want to get it all over the edge of the tray, you don't want to put it all over the edge of your knife. So the tray is packed out with the chicken wings all seasoned up, and then we're just gonna go straight in the rock box. Anything from 200 to 300, you just got to keep a better eye on it. And we're going to turn these after about five minutes. So you can even see now, even after a few minutes, they're starting to colour on the back. So you just spin that around, just whack it straight back in. So you can see actually now how the wings are starting to colour on top. So what we're going to do this stage, just turn them. For the first turn, we're going to do one more turn after this. We'll colour them properly on the bottom, turn them again. This is where these, these tongs have come into their own precision turning. Okay, so wings turned, back in. Okay, so now wings are ready for a final turn. Just get that super crispy on the top so that you see they're all colored nicely. So just turn them one more time. And it's a little bit longer doing it this way in terms of making sure you're turning them you're just going to yield a better product at the end it's going to be crispier the wings are going to be juicier because otherwise if you don't turn them they're going to burn on the top and then you've got to eat them before they're actually cooked as we want them to be you want the wings to be soft and sticky okay so that's the wings done nice and crispy you can see this golden you know a bit darker in places and now it's just a case of taking them out of the pan straight into this bowl you can toss all that oil in there as well Scrape this off. That's flavour. We'll put it in there. Probably in total, that was about 20 to 25 minutes, but constantly looking after it. And then it's just literally a case of pouring over the glaze. 
toss it really well. Probably want to leave those to sit for a couple of minutes. I'll be roasting. Get the rest of that glaze in. And then get them into your serving dish. Stack them up. This is my really simple salt and pepper wings with a maple glaze. And it's just all about doing those simple things right. You know, making the glaze early on, prepping the wings properly, really looking after them in the oven, and then you yield a fantastic product. For the full recipe, click to gosney.com. Oh, I'm gonna taste one. Probably gonna burn my mouth. Mm, so good, it's sweet, salty, it's fatty. Mm. If it had been like a few more hours, there'd have been like zombies out on the street. Like, oh.